What's up, YouTube and I'm man TiVo. As you can tell, this is a right out of the theater review of Black Adam. I mean, I did one on Instagram where I literally was right out of the theater in my car. Uh, but now I gotten home. I guess I got to digest it for a good, you know, hour or two. So uh, my initial thoughts, non-spoiler. Maybe we'll do a full spoiler review next week with the rest of the Lords. But um, I saw it today over at the AMC. Uh, theater was packed. All showings were, were pretty full. Uh, and, you know, um, right off the bat, um, you know, it's an entertaining film. What can I say? It, it's a entertaining comic book superhero film not a comic book film but a superhero film you know and there's a difference between that right because comic books have multiple genres but this is a good superhero film i mean you know entertaining or good i, I don't know if you can you know juxtapose those together but you know i had a good time with it i mean you know black adam uh the jsa dr fate uh hawkman cyclone um adam smasher um i thought it was my initial thoughts were are this that it, it's it's full of action first of all first and foremost action from beginning to end almost to its detriment where you really don't have time to develop more of the ancillary characters especially the JSA I wanted to know more about the JSA characters which is a good thing right uh, and also a bad thing uh, dare I say I hope there's not a director's cut coming because we don't need another director's cut of anything but I think the movie probably could have been I mean. 15, 20 minutes longer, spend a little bit more time about Dr. Fate, Hawkman, his origins, you know, but, you know, hopefully down the line, they'll get, you know, these guys, will, they'll be either a GSA film or we get a uh, Dr. Fate film or a Hawkman film or something along those lines, or even on HBO Max, since they have all these platforms to go. Um, the good is the, is the action. It is jam-packed, um, heavily relying on CGI. Uh, so for those who are critics of uh, too much use of CGI, you probably will not like this. Um, um, but for me, I have no problem with it. I think superhero films should be fantastical, right? They should, you know, I'm not, I don't like grounded, ground, grounded heroes. I want to see lightning bolts and, you know, lasers and, you know, sorcery, all that stuff. And this gave me a little bit of everything. Um, the Rock was a bit underwhelming. I will say that. I mean, maybe it was supposed to be like that. It, it <laughs> For a guy who has been asleep for 5,000 years, it just seemed like um, he just picked up on current terminology really well. Um, and then he, as, at, at certain times, he was also like the Terminator where he did. He was just like, you know, he just, if you watch Term T2, when the kid was talking to Terminator and he tells, tells him, you know, don't kill people, but then he, you know, but he, instead he shoots him in the leg. But, Black Adam is not that. He's an anti-hero. Um, so he's got a very specific thing. And it's a classic super, superhero story, you know, where they meet up, they first fight each other, and then they, you know, they get together to fight a common foe. Once it has, for good or bad, this movie has all the superhero uh, movie tropes, um, be it the uh, beam that shoots up in the sky doing something that both Marvel and DC have done. Not so it's not just DC. Marvel has done it too. Um, somewhat of a throwaway villain that Marvel is known for. And um, to an extent DC is known for, I mean, you know, we haven't really, really seen dark side yet. So, uh, but you know, the Joker, you know, got his own film. Um, you know, the villain could have been stronger. I didn't really, um, I want to see that world a little bit more to see what's going on. Um, you know, uh, we got to see a bit of the, the kind of um, the origins of Shazam, which are tied to, or excuse me, the origins of Black Adam, which are kind of tied to Shazam uh, with the wizards. I won't go any any further spoilers about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, and uh, end credit scene, obviously, I won't talk about it, but it's been leaked. So I think everybody knows by now, um, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you five, 10 seconds here. I'll give you a, uh, you know, a quick, <laughs> I'll give you a quick, uh, little something before uh, I get into the end credit spoiler. So, uh, you know, let's hear from Robert Kirkman. Oh, but. I'm Robert Kirkman. Keep digging in those long boxes. Yo, what's up, DMC? In a place to be. Keep digging in those long boxes. So, if you're still here, the mid credits mid credit scene is Henry Cavill Superman shows up at the end of the film, um, which was leaked 
you know, probably on purpose, to be honest with you, because I think a lot more people wanted to go see it now. The interesting story about that is the Hollywood Reporter has said initially it was just going to be Superman from the neck down. It was going to be the costume and the cape, and you and you weren't going to see his face. According to uh, sources, uh, Hollywood Reporter saying it tested so well that the director's like, you know what? Last minute, they go, we need to get Cavill to do this. Cavill filmed his scene in um, England where he was at at the time. So The Rock and the, and Henry Cavill weren't you know, filming it at the same time in the same place. So it was very interesting how they put that together. But, um, you know, that's, I mean, I, I don't really think I'm spoiling it. You've got to be living under a rock, no pun intended, if you didn't know that uh, Superman is in the end credit scene, excuse me, mid credit scene. Of that there's no end credit scene there's not two of them so once you see that one you can leave you, unless you want to see the key grip and the sound guy and the visual effects guy you know there's like 500 people who worked on this film um so overall the rotten tomato score is 55 percent. i don't blame rotten tomatoes it's an aggregator it just takes reviews from multiple sources and it just balances out the user reviews are 90 percent favorable and the critic reviews are 55 percent. so 55% makes it rotten. 90% obviously makes it certified fresh for users. So I wouldn't trust either one of them because we've known people that are fandoms of either or that either really will boost something up or they'll bomb review things. So I would say it's right in the middle between 55 and 90. My real literally like 75% I would think would be, a, a, you know, it's a, it's a good film from DC. Um, um, and I hope they can build on it. I think uh, there's some cool stuff that's going on here. Uh, Amanda Waller seems to be the the Nick Fury type uh, that's going forward on this. Um, so uh, be very curious to see where they go with that. Black Adam um, is very powerful. Um, Hawkman is cool. Doctor Fate is so dope. He's my first one. He's my favorite DC uh, superhero, um, hands down. Doctor Fate. So Pierce Brosnan killed it. Brought a bit of gravitas to it, but they almost like Hopefully we'll see him again. I'll just leave it at that um, because it was pretty cool. The way the use of his powers and everything, you know, very, very similar to Doctor Strange. But, you know, we know Doctor Fate's been around since the Golden Age, Doctor Strange, Silver Age. So um, I'll just leave it at that. Very cool. I was hoping to see that uh, that Sid, that and that single uh, Doctor Fate has this. What is it like an Omega symbol or something? I probably should look it up, but uh, I wish it would have used that more like he did. Uh, in the comics and then in some of the, the animated series that he's seen. But overall, I'm going to give it a CDC. I don't know. Uh, right now, after I actually watched it one and a half times. So I watched it and then I watched it. I walked into another theater and I watched the last uh, 20 minutes again, the climax of it again, just so I can get a better idea of it. And so, you know, I was like, oh, okay, because normally I give a full blown uh, spoiler review after I've seen the movie twice or maybe three times. So I really get it down. I would say, the strong parts, uh, strong parts of the film are the action. Um, it has some good comedic moments, um, not full on like you know comedy bits, but it's it's it has its comedic moments. And you know, you know, when you think about the DC films, there's either a lot of comedy or no comedy at all. You think of a Shazam, Suicide Squad, there's a lot of comedy in those films. But you think of Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman. I mean, there is literally no. I mean. The jokes are very few and far between. This one has some light jokes in it. You know, there's a kid in there that kind of brings it on. And there's also the her, his uncle that is, you know, says things. You saw him in the trailer. He's the one that says, did you just catch a rocket? Um, so, you know, go out and see it. I would say it's definitely worth the time going seeing on the big screen. Um, you know, it does it deserve 55%? Remember, Rotten Tomatoes is an aggregator score. So it take, it, it take, if it takes 100 critics... And 55 of them didn't like it, then that's what uh, 55% means. All right. But 90% uh, of users liked it. So I would say the truth is somewhere in the middle with 75. With that being said, my CG score is right around 8.0, 8.5, which is a solid, very fine plus. Um, we're seeing in the theaters. Um, very cool uh, graphics. If you, I meant the CGI, I don't, I don't think it was overly done. Uh, but if you're a critic of those kind of things, if you didn't like the way the end of Batman vs. Man, where there was just stuff going all over the place, at this, you know, you probably won't like this film. Um, the dialogue was, you know, so so. Like I said, I wish it would have spent 15, 20 more minutes so we could spend more time uh, learning about the characters. We didn't really get that much of a backstory from them, but, you know, um, there's probably directors cutting the horizon. Who knows, man? But uh, go see it. 
and and you know tell me what you guys think man i enjoyed it uh would i see a second time probably i mean i already i did kind of see a second time i walked in and went to finish right after my movie was done i walked into the, the other uh dolby theater across the hall and i said let me see what's uh and i wanted to watch the end again just to see you know make sure i caught everything so here you go man batman or excuse me black adam what'd you guys think i gave it a ctc 8.0 8.5 so we shall see how it does in the box office so far so well so then we got what kind of forever so uh black adam i enjoyed it what can i say it was entertaining but is it gonna win any oscars no but are you gonna be entertained i think so so with that, boys and girls, I will bid you adieu, and I will see you Tuesday for the Cover Price Top 10. Until next time, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out, boys and girls.